Hey, uh, AD, first of all, do you get anything for LeBron? No. Uh, you know, not to put your business out in the street, but nope. do you get anything for LeBron for birthday 36? Nope. <laughs> Yeah. Got I get. We got. We got him a win. True. Yeah. I mean, well, what, did, it, it, what did you get, LeBron James? Huh? Some wine? Or maybe I might give him some wine. Maybe. Yeah. Especially with Christmas so close to it, right? He's right. To right. 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 Game. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Eddie, you said you you always want to make sure to come out a certain way after a loss, especially uh, as you mentioned when you weren't as aggressive in the first half yesterday. Uh, what What was clicking tonight? How were you guys able to kind of keep them at bay throughout the night? Um. Defense, you know, we made shots. Guy made shots. You know, West made shots tonight, six for six. Um, you know, I made some shots. Dennis, Mark, Trez, everybody. You know, um, but I think we came out pretty good defensively and was able to, you know, get stops and, and, and run. You know, cover for each other, help. You know, we still we still fouling too much, uh, which putting guys at the line, uh, which we don't want to do. And in order for us to, you know, be the team that we want to be, we got to. Continue to well, we don't continue, but we have to stop filing. And um, you know, we're still learning, but you know, I think we just came out with a, with a little bit more energy um, and effort, and with more discipline on the defensive end. Is, isn't it different on the road not having a crowd like as compared to when you're at Staples and you don't have a home crowd? You, you're used to seeing some purple and gold up there, or is it similar? Like, does it feel the same as being at Staples? Um. Well, they had some fans. I, I think it was all family here tonight. So, um, you know, it's good to see somebody in the stands. But it's still the same. I mean, honestly, you know, when, when, when guys step on the, on the court, you know, you don't really notice it. You just go out there and compete and try to get a win. But, um, you know, you're used to hearing that fan noise, you know, for, for Laker Nation on the uh, – from Laker Nation on the road and um, wasn't there. So it's, it's a little different for us. Um, not having our support system with us on the road, but you know, uh, it was good to see you know some fans in the stands, even if they were for the other team. Kyle, hey Dave, um, just wondering about the process of you kind of going over the film of the last game. What kind of thought how that performance you had against Portland, and, and what you really tried to actively change this time. Um, just wanted to be more aggressive. I had, I mean, I made some some good plays, you know, passing to my teammates. Um, but sometimes, you know, my teammates want me to score the ball. You know, you know, sometimes they're cutting just to get out my way, and I got to be able to, you know, realize that and go score. And tonight, I was uh, a little bit more aggressive, looking for my shot uh, while still making the right plays. Um, you know, I, I know that I have to be able to score the basketball to help us win. Um, you know, and, and I just try to, you know, make sure I put an emphasis on that tonight. Okay. Anthony, you, your head, it's upside down. I don't know if you're aware of it. <laughs> uh, Brian um, set, uh, continued on his own record with a thousand straight games, That's crazy. more points tonight. What's it like having a teammate that you know that you have the consistency, and there's more that he does than just scoring, but but knowing you're going in to play a game and you're like, okay, well, I have this, and then we can build from there. Well, that's good, because we're able to <clears throat> build a team and build our you know, our schemes around it. Um, when we have a guy who knows he's gonna consistently score at least 10 points, uh, consistently, you know, get assists and pass the ball, and, and you know, a guy who's gonna consistently rebound, um, then we know what we have, and we're able to build on it and be able to, to make our schemes and, and make adjustments based off of that. So um, it's good when you have a you know consistent player, um, and it, it just makes our jobs a lot easier. Bill? Anthony, um, I just wanted to get your thoughts. Presumably, the last time we'll see you guys in 2020, and you know, it's a year that people, I think, generally are happy to see come to an end. It's also the year that you became an NBA champion. I'm just curious, how will you remember 2020? Um, it's a lot of sadness in the world. Um, obviously, we all remember it, you know, because of the coronavirus. But um, from a basketball standpoint, it'll be the year I, I like to say I won my first championship. Um, you know, a year that I reached a milestone in my career um, and, and improved a lot. Um, but from a life standpoint, you know. A year that caused so much pain and heartache uh, to the world, and um, 
um, like I said, a year that everyone is, you know, rushing to get this year over with and, and start 21. Um, but also, you know, we learned a lot uh, from this year. Um, at least I did, you know, just from, um, you know, always checking in with your family, loving your family, any, you know, bickering or beefs or whatever that you have, you know, just squash it all because you never know what can happen. Um, and, you know, I think a lot of people in the world uh, kind of just lived by that, just, you know, loving their family more and, and loving the people around them and um, anything that could be fixed, trying to fix it. Um, because so many people, you know, lost their lives uh, to this virus. So um, it's a year that, you know, everyone would try to forget um, from a day-to-day -day basis. But for me, on the basketball side, it was a year that I won my championship. And it will, you know, always be remembered in that sense. Last question, BT. AD, hey, you guys play San Antonio again Friday. Then you play Memphis twice next week. How odd is it to play a regular season when you're playing teams like this twice? It's odd in the regular season, but uh, something that I think everyone who's been in the playoffs is, is used to because, um, you know, that's what, what we do in the playoffs. So I think, uh, you know, it's, like you say, it's, it's, it's pretty odd for the regular season, but um, nothing that we haven't seen before uh, for all the guys that have been to the playoffs, which is, I think, everyone on this team. So uh, that's how we're just treating it. You know, it's a, it's many playoff series um, throughout the season.